So what you see here, that beeping, the red bar there, a part of a new public alert system. It even interrupted our city newscast last night, as you can see. You may have also heard it on the radio. It's a nationwide program that will be broadcast during tornado warnings, as well as any type of terrorist attack or nuclear plant problem. Some say that last night's warning was a bit excessive, considering the weather wasn't that bad, depending on where you were. Previously, Environment Canada would issue a warning to media outlets, then we would broadcast that information. But now, we do not have control over when that alert is broadcast. In the end, Toronto seeing heavy downpours, which shut down the Bayview extension for about half an hour's time. Museum Station also flooded. Environment Canada will be looking into reports that a tornado may have touched down in Keswick, which is just north of Newmarket, but so far there are no reports of any damage. So I'm going to join Frank here at the, mm. the big screen. So here is the alert that we saw last night. Yeah. And yeah. We, we need some clarification, explanation too. So we're going to go right to the pros. Environment Canada, Jeff Colson joins us by phone. Good morning, Jeff. Hey, good, good morning, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, first off, uh, maybe we should describe to people a tornado warning and when a warning is issued by Environment Canada. Sure, Frank, and this is something that we do uh, only when we have a lot of evidence that there, uh, there could actually be a tornado uh, about to form or may actually be one in the area. Uh, we don't issue them lightly. Again, the concern being that if we send too many of these things out and, and the tornadoes don't materialize, uh, they're going to lose their impact. So yesterday we did have some photographic evidence of uh, what appeared to be a tornado in the Keswick area. We had uh, strong rotation showing up on Doppler weather radar, and that was the reason the tornado warning went, for, went out for that area. Jeff, when you're hearing these warnings and then you alert the system, is there someone physical that you talk to or is it completely automated? The system itself is, is completely automated, so it forms part of the uh, the national public alerting system and alert ready, which is the part that actually turns the screen reds or interrupts the, uh, the radio broadcast, is a part of that national public alerting system. Um, do you think there was something broken with the old system or is this a better system or are we going to be getting better as time goes on? Yeah, I think this is still very much a system in development. I think there was a, a need for something like this, uh, again, restricted to things that pose an imminent threat to, uh, to life or property, and that's really the point of the, uh, the alert-ready system. As we move through the rest of the summer, as was mentioned, there, there will be other alerts, uh, again, that could be potentially issued by other government authorities at the local level, at the provincial level, or, or other federal departments as well. And Jeff, something that uh, people have been mentioning, some of our viewers, could we move to technology, perhaps uh, alerts on your smartphone coming directly from you guys at Environment Canada? That's right. Well, that is that's something that's being looked at right now, and there is a possibility, even with the current uh, alert-ready system, that uh, instead of just feeding broadcasters, uh, this system could be used to feed uh, cell phone companies, social media sites. So there is a lot of potential for this system to expand from, from where it is right now. And I guess, of course, this is all due to the, um, you know, we've always had tornadoes in the province of Ontario, but uh, it seems that the weather has uh, intensified over the last few years, a greater frequency of severe weather. Yeah, difficult to say at this point if we're seeing a greater frequency or just a greater number of reports. Uh, obviously, our society has changed a, a lot in the last five to ten years. Social media has exploded. There's a lot more awareness out there of, of what these storms are like, and we're getting a lot more reports. So still, I think the jury's a bit out in terms of whether we're seeing more of these severe thunderstorms or tornadoes or we're just getting more reports than we've ever seen before. Now, of course, a lot of people are also taking the other side and saying, mm -hmm. better safe than sorry. We'd rather see this alert and be aware of it than not know about it all and sort of brush it off. And as you mentioned, Jeff, uh, it is uh, changing. Tr you guys are transforming uh, with this process very much so. Exactly right. It's still very much a growing system. We're, we're going to be learning from it as we go through the summer months and into the fall. Uh, as we say, other government authorities uh, will be joining the system to be able to add their alerts to it if, uh, again, there is that immediate risk to, uh, to life or property. And if a tornado did touch down yesterday, everybody would be saying today the system was great. And, right. and thankfully, the tornado didn't touch down. Yeah, well, we're still not sure. We're still looking into it. Uh, we, we did have that photographic evidence. Uh, we have talked to the emergency managers in those areas and no reports of significant damage, but it's something we'll still be uh, taking a look at during the course of today. Okay, thank you very much for joining us this morning, Jeff. My pleasure. So we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll talk about this a little bit more as well. Continue to chime in as well on social media.